Come on, Betty, you're coming with us. This is the story of how we found and adopted a street dog on our road trip through Mexico. It's almost 11 p.m. I'm getting used to being a puppy owner. He will not go to sleep by himself. He has to be in my arms. We named our new best friend Taco, and this is his story. For you guys not to think that Overland is always glamorous. For the past seven days we've been staying at parking lots. The good side is it's 100% free. We have 24 hour security, access to toilets and even free Wi-Fi. We could very well be staying at campsites but that would cost us about 300 pesos a night. So we save these way and we just stay at parking lots. And it's actually, it actually isn't that bad. Check this out. Jetta! Our plan for the day ahead was to buy some parts for the van and then check out the city of Cholula. Morning. But on our way to the auto parts shop, we got stopped dead in our tracks by something on the road. Oh, it's very suffered, man. Hey, buddy. Want some food? It's thirsty. I'm hungry. We always carry a little bit of dog food in the van because there's so many street dogs in Mexico. It's really delusional. But we'd never seen a puppy as young as this and in such bad condition, just abandoned on the street. He doesn't seem to be doing too well and it's kind of breaking my heart a little bit. So I think we're going to try and take him to a vet and see if he's okay. And if they won't accept him, maybe we'll take him on the trip with us for a little bit and see if we can find an owner. Because seriously, how can you just leave that thing here? He needs us. Well, there's nothing we can do for every single dog we see on I the street, know, so let's be realistic too. I know, but he's a baby and he can't fend for himself, you know? Adults at least can try and they have smartness to search for food and stuff. Okay, so you're going to take him to a vet because there is a vet close by? Yeah. So we won't be able to do this to every single dog we see. There is no way we could solve the problem of the street dogs in Mexico by simply taking one of the streets. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll just take him. But somehow this little guy appeared in our way and there was no way we could leave him behind. Hey, buddy. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here because there's a lot of traffic. Come on, buddy, you're coming with us. Don't get used to it. Don't get used to it. You're not coming on the trip, okay? Deal? He might be. Don't say that yet. We don't know. I'm hoping that we can find someone to take care of him, but if we can't, maybe we might have to take care of him for a little while. And what are you going to do, what are you going to, do to every dog we find on the street? That's a really tricky question, and I don't think I can answer it right now, but I'll try and help as many as I can. A puppy as young as this shouldn't be anywhere else apart from with his mum. However, we couldn't find any other dogs anywhere near where we found him. So his best bet was for us to take him to the vet. After checking his health, giving him all the necessary vaccinations and deworming medication, we asked the vet if there was a possibility of leaving him at a refuge. And then there's a like a refuge, a dog refuge that we can hopefully take him to and he'll be adopted from there. So that's a good ending hopefully. Hey buddy. How do you feel? I think he's just chilling, relaxing. I think he's actually quite happy to be there. <laughs> 
He's just so cute. Resist it, okay, we're resisting. I can't, I literally can't. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> but then, while he was having a bath, we actually heard that the refuge only gives dogs five days to find a home before they actually put them down. That changes everything. We just got a dog with him. <laughs> That's what you're planning. He's you just... Think, you think they're doing it yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how can you resist him? Well, it's just the first dog we found. There is going to be a whole lot of dogs along the way. It's just not smart. But I just want to take him with us. <laughs> <laughs> Those tears don't change anything. Obviously, I've been very emotional about this. He's a very cute dog and he's in need, so that pulls on my heartstrings. But thinking rationally, I just want to make sure he's going to be okay for the next week, which they say is like the, it's a period of danger after they give him the vaccines. Take care of him for a week, enjoy him, hopefully not get fed up with the poo and the pee, and hopefully not destroy the car, and then hopefully we'll find him a good place to live and a family. I hope we are not getting ourselves into a situation. <laughs> Not sure if he's enjoying it. <laughs> Should we get this for him? I had an idea with him. What about Rufus? <laughs> Stop it right there, man. We gotta get him a nice comfy bed. You stop it. Some good food. Obviously has to get him to have to get him some toys as well. There's a whole lot of options here. Let's have a look. What should we get for Rufus? Do we even know if it's a he? <laughs> this one's pretty cute. Oh, it's for a cat. <laughs> Stop it, okay? No, never. Now oh, we gotta get him a little a little <laughs> pink jacket. It's a nappy then. It's a nappy? Yeah, it's a calcium dogs have sanitarium. Nappies? Oh my god, dogs have nappies. Yeah, they have periods too. It's actually shampoo for ferrets. <laughs> It's like you all we need. Maybe we call him Ferret. <laughs> he's all clean, he's had a good meal. <clears throat> now he's gonna sleep because he's had his vaccines. And we just gotta make sure that he doesn't poo out too many parasites and then clean him from the fleas and hopefully he'll be okay. We have a friggin' puppy, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Overland Way family, buddy. Boo. So cute. <laughs> Welcome to your new home, buddy. Your home. Yeah. I just hold him in my hand. Does he have to be no, in the box? No, no, it's stop it. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, you have to go in the box so your fleas don't fall in the car. Sorry. Right. Doing a good deed for today, but that dog's not going to stay. We'll see. Are we clear? We will see. Are we clear? Let's go get your diesel oil change, whatever that stupid stuff is. And I'll take care of the dog. Look at where you got me into, Michaela. After all of that, we finally got back to the auto part shop and bought what we needed for Alex to fix the van. <coughs> puppy is helping out the maintenance man. He's getting the thermostat done while the puppy is just going wild. He's the old guy. He's still in pretty good shape. Never had any issues. But as we would do a coolant change, I just thought I would do it as well. Good as well <laughs> Looking dirty. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? You're missing your mum. Yeah, I think you're missing your mum, aren't you? It's okay, buddy. It's okay. With all the hard work for the day done, it's time to finally go and visit the city of Cholula with little buddy in tow. We're here in the town of Cholula which is famous for two things. One is apparently it has 365 different churches, so one church for every day of the year. And the second thing is one of the churches was built right on top of one of the biggest pyramids in Mexico. Actually, it's the biggest pyramid in the Americas. Yeah, actually the biggest pyramid in the Americas. And I think, well, obviously, the Spanish, when they got here to force the Catholicism, 
they actually built the church right on top of the pyramid and they covered the whole pyramid in soil. So now it actually looks like just a simple hill. But if we were to dig it all out, it would be a massive structure. But anyway, plans changed when we found this little guy. And all we've been doing lately is just getting him his worms out and feeding him. But he looks better now. Yeah, he's doing good. Let's go check You're out right, the town buddy? then. Let's check out the town. Let's do it. Look at you, got your mother looks already. Blue corn ice cream. Blue corn is like a Mexican specialty. It's like unique to Mexico, I guess. These are actually very nice. Do you have a problem with it? Well, I have to miss this one. How funny is that? <laughs> you have your puro in your bag and the sign says no puro in bags. We should call him Perito Moreno. Perito Moreno. Perito Moreno? Is that you? I think you're getting too attached already. Still trying to work out a name. We, talk, we thought about diesel. We thought about van diesel. Means we're not getting that attached. Perito Moreno? He's a, he's a, he's a brown dog, pretty good Madema. It's almost 11pm and I'm, oh hello, I'm getting used to being a puppy owner. He will not go to sleep by himself, he has to be in my arms. I'm trying, I put him in this so that we can just transfer him. Hopefully without noticing from my arms to his bed soon. That's his bed there. And his bed's under my feet. It's cute. Fingers crossed he won't wake up this time. Sounds pretty awake already. First day. He was so good. He only, he only screamed once to go to the toilet and then he was chilling there all night, slept really well and I woke him up. Uh, I woke up and found him in a puddle of pee. Sorry buddy. He's a bit cold now. He's shaking. Oh, he's sleepy. Your second day in and you've already got the dog you're not intend to keep. A shirt. A silly shirt. Not just any shirt. Freaking silly shirt. It's got paw prints on it, it's perfect for him. Size zero in the baby wear section. <laughs> hey, buddy. You want me to believe you're not gonna keep it? That <laughs> one looks full. Cool. What have you just had, baby? Maybe in a food coma? <laughs> Since we found Taku, a whole lot of things have gone through our minds. Um, traveling with the puppy isn't easy, and we always knew that. So what we've done is we've done a lot of research on traveling with dogs in the Americas in particular, and it actually doesn't look too difficult. So we've come to a final decision because little buddy has totally stolen our hearts. And we need him just as much as he needs us. We've decided to keep him permanently, guys. We had your help um, to name him as well, so we've given him the name Taco, and he's going to come along on the adventures with us. Yeah. This is a whole new challenge for our adventure. We had never planned traveling with a dog, 
So it adds a whole new level of things we have to plan from now on. Will be very interesting. We are super excited to try it out. And if you guys want to follow and see how it works out for us, so how traveling with the dog is through the Americas or throughout the world. And if you want to follow Taco growing up, which is he's tiny now, but he's gonna grow pretty big, we think. Then make sure you subscribe by hitting the button below and give us a like as well, because he's so cute, isn't he? And if you guys want to support our adventure with this new puppy now. Please consider contributing on Patreon. It's a platform that allows you to support with as little as $1 a month or an amount per video. And that helps us produce the content that you guys have been enjoying watching. That all the money that we get there goes to producing these videos. So thank you very much for watching. We really hope you love this video and we'll see you next week. See you guys.